G'day guys, welcome to another Mark Makes video. Today I'm going to be making an arbor for my sister's wedding. Now as you probably saw on the thumbnail, it's not going to be just a standard square one, it's actually going to be a hexagon. This should be a lot of fun, and it's four days to the wedding, so let's get stuck into it. Here's some timber I picked up from work. There's a couple of long staples that we'll need removing, so I'll get that done, and also check the ends. Not all of them are square, so I'll make sure that they're all the same length, ready to go. Right, I've cut all the ugly ends off of one side. I gave my dad a call to help me figure out the correct angles and lengths. So I'm gonna mark each end at 30 degrees, and I'm gonna mark each length, so the height of it will be at two meters. All right, I've got the lengths cut out, and I'll just explain why these two are shorter. So I made these ones one meter, so the height and the width should end up being about the same. So this arbor is gonna be 3D, that's why I've cut out so many lengths. It is going to be 2 meters high and 2 meters wide and my shed door is only 1.8 meters high but I'm hoping because there's no length going across the bottom I'm going to be able to get it out the door still. I've got the aircon going and it's going to be a lot cooler in here than it is building it outside. Alright, I've got the framework done and I was going to test to see if it will fit through the door but unfortunately the workshop is just too small. So what I'll do is I'll just unscrew it here at the top and continue with two halves and once it's out then I can screw it together. Okay, I've reassembled the frame inside the right way around this time. But I'm going to make a few modifications. I don't like how these stick out so far so I'm just going to cut them shorter and then also add a piece level that's probably going to stick it out a little bit wider either side just for some stability then we'll reassess all right guys back on track after a couple of little bumps in the road there at the bottoms here i've ended up cutting them flush i didn't really like the look of it sticking past there's not a whole lot of support at the bottom and they're sort of wanting to come towards each other so i've got these two pieces they're cut at 950 and what i'm going to do i'm going to screw some little uprights to them and they're basically going to click in and that's going to stop the two ends from coming towards each other and there we have it that slots in there so that's them sitting in place now. The main reason for not having a bar across the bottom is just to avoid a tripping hazard. What I'm going to do now is just cut out some pieces to go from here to there underneath for a little extra support because I don't want the gaps opening up. I just want to keep it nice and strong. Okay, so that's the bracing finished. This will be the front. So next thing is going to be using this timber here to fill the space all around. I have completed three of the five sides. Before I go any further, I had an idea. Put some hearts on two of the sides. What I've done is cut it out of a piece of the timber and then I've cut that timber in half. So I've got two in the mirror image. I'm gonna put one up here and I'm gonna put one right here. So what I'm going to do is cut the frame so I can put these so they sit flush. All right, a bit of glue, some screws and a bit of putty. We'll let that dry, give it a sand and I think it'll be pretty good. Now we'll work on this side. And then I'll go back to finishing the frame and the top piece here. All right, that is done. Really happy with how that's turned out. And that's about it for in the shed as well. I'm gonna take it apart into two pieces so I can get it out the door, reassemble, and sand the whole thing in preparation for paint. Alrighty, all the sanding is done. Now I'm just gonna move it across to the patio. Start giving it a couple of coats of white paint. Well, it's night time now, but that's not going to stop me. Time to do a night shift and keep painting.
Alrighty guys, that's two coats of paint done. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, now it's time to load it onto the ute and get it ready for the wedding. Well guys, Mary and Duncan's wedding's about to kick off. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in two weeks time on the next one.